preview my thoughts eagles versus the ravens let's get straight to it So the Eagles, well, the Ravens are coming into Philadelphia to play the Eagles. The Eagles has lots and lots of injuries. Man, I really don't even know who's playing on the Eagles other than um, Walker Toon. But, um, man, this is just, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know what's going to happen on this one. Because I seen on Baltimore Ravens, uh, they said the last two times we played the Eagles in their in their town, we're 0-2. So we lost two games in their town. This time, I believe definitely is going to be different. Um, for the Ravens, I'm already ready. I'm already ready for a lot of passing. I'm already ready for that. But good thing like last week, um, I saw David Duvernay more on the field. So hopefully we get to see more of him tomorrow. That's one thing I'm really, really looking forward to. Um, because I, I believe they already know that Gus and JK can do their thing. But I still would like to see them get a lot of run attempts. Uh, I believe every, um, Everybody for us, the offense is healthy. Um, the only problem is we obviously have that offensive line. That right guard is definitely, definitely a problem. For his defense, uh, Brandon Williams, he's gonna be out. Um, he's gotta, he's gotta be uh, quarantined for about five days. He ran into well, he he knew someone that was came in contact with someone that was sick. Um, Derek Wolf is going to be out. So, Calais Campbell is the only monster that's going to be there. Um, but the good thing is we get to see more of Matty Bookie. We get to see more of him. Uh, we get to see more of him on there, um, doing his thing. Cause he did a little something last week. Uh, hopefully we can see Jalen Ferguson continually develop. He reminds me so much of Jerry Johnson. Uh, cause I'm starting to see that the sacks for him is not going to be there, but he does other things to help out the line for as the, um, the, uh, run, make sure he don't break out on his side. He's doing very, very good from last week. What I saw. He was shutting that down. He was like, nobody's going to run on this side and get past me. So, very good. Um, Coach showed that as well in his video. He did very, very good with his technique. My score in this game, I have 35 Ravens. I have the Eagles 13, 35 to 13. And I believe we're going to get some sacks. We're going to get some sacks because, as I stated, the Eagles, their offense is just dismantled. <laughs> it's dismantled because they already allowed 19 sacks already this season. That is terrible. So I believe our sacks is going to get up. I believe our sex is definitely going to get up. Let me think. And I, I already know MP Juice, man. I'm looking forward to Marlon Hunt for making somebody fumble. He's defensive player of the year. L, uh, LJ Ford, I've been seeing him more out there. Um, I really haven't seen Harrison. But we all know, PQ, defensive rookie of the year. Oh, baller, baller. You said, we're going to have defensive player of the year and defensive rookie of the year. I wonder what other team has done that throughout the NFL history. 
If you know, put that in the comments. That's very interesting to me. But it's going to be interesting to see what, what happens with the Eagles because Miles Sanders, he, he is good, but the Ravens' rush defense has been balling. They have been balling. And I believe they're going to shut him down, make Carson Wentz throw, and then that's where Marlon Humphrey either will make somebody fall or fumble or MP Juice Man will get that interception. So, y'all tell me what you think. What's your score? Put that in the comments. Thanks, everybody, for the support. Stay safe. God bless. Have a good one.